Good morning and welcome back to more Pikmin. We're here on day 11, going to finish off the Forest Naval. There are two parts remaining in this place, both of which are behind bosses. The two bosses of this area. Now, these bosses to me are way easier than the Snagrits. Uh, I would much rather fight multiples of these bosses than fight even a single Snagrit. I am going to go for the one that I consider to be the most difficult uh, right off the bat, though. I'm going to go ahead and grab 60 red Pikmin. It doesn't take very long to get to either location, so rather than take... Having more Pikmin with you just makes it easier for you to get a whole bunch of them killed from something stupid. Um, so I'm going to go with a lesser amount of Pikmin right now and just come back for more later uh, to take out the other boss. So I'm going to focus down the boss that I think is probably going to be the more difficult one. If there's any chance of me needing to reset, it's going to be against uh, this first boss rather than the second one. No nectar? Damn. Okay. I was hoping I could get some of my dudes flowered up, but it's not that required. It just would have been quite handy. Now, there is more grass right there that I could try for, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Now, I could switch people to being yellows. Uh, they do kind of recommend using yellows here. I'm not going to worry about it that much. I don't want to try and kill this guy, though, just because otherwise he's going to be a problem, and I know it, and I don't want to deal with it. All right, I also don't want you guys picking up that pellet just yet. We can pick up the pellet later. All right. Let us head on down here. Yeah, the main reason I want to use the red Pikmin is because this area is covered in fire, and there's also this Wallywog right here who wants to ruin my day. Ah, uh, he did manage to land on one of them. Unfortunate. Yeah, he must have landed on one of the ones I had initially thrown. Yep, those guys are going to get squished. Yep, just lost a few more. But this should finish him off. Yeah, I don't think they... No, he still did die on the fall, so that's unfortunate. All right, here's here's the big old boy. Now... Okay. Now, the way this guy works... No, 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 no. You guys come back to me right now. I want to time out how long he sits. Yeah, because once he gets up, he shoots out spores. And that basically works like poison on the Pikmin. Okay, so call everyone back and then throw them actually on him. He's going to flip here pretty soon. I was too close to him when I was throwing. I needed to be farther away. Um, because I was so close to him, he wasn't... This is also not the boss that I had planned on fighting. Uh, this is the easier of the two bosses, but that's okay. Now I might be able to just rush him down. Yeah, right there, cool. Rush him down in one. Well, you can absolutely rush that guy down in one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, doing it in two or three like I did is a little bit of, a little bit more caution than you probably need on that guy. The only thing he can actually do to hurt you is that spray, which, basically poisons your Pikmin and kills them. Uh, but as long as you call people back before he jumps back up, it's very telegraphed what he's going to do. It's not that dangerous. But we have found the Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece if my battered ship is to ever fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That, and it looks cool. Fair enough, Olimar. All right, so first things first, grab that part. Cool. I can also grab this guy. So that'll work just fine. I've got one dude left with me. Oh, I've got five dudes left with me, actually. Cool. I'm gonna put you guys all on the Omega Stabilizer then. To just make that go a little bit faster. Fire still hurts Olimar, even if it doesn't hurt the Red Pikmin. 
Inverted. Yeah, and we're definitely going to have enough time to get the other part today, which is actually what I was planning to go for, and I just went the wrong way. Uh, because <laughs> I got distracted by that frog, and then I just kept going. Um, oh! Oh shoot, I do need yellow Pikmin, I need to blow up that wall. Okay, okay, I thought I might need to blow up a wall, but it just didn't seem to be, seem to be needing. Okay, fair enough. Also, I don't actually want the red Pikmin uh, carrying this part into base. I want the blue Pikmin to get it, because I need more blue Pikmin than I need red Pikmin. But they can do the heavy lifting to get it over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is call down... I don't know. 20 blue Pikmin? Cool. Cool. And I'll wait to call my 10 yellows. All right, cool. You guys, I'll come back. And get back in the ship for right now. Just to make sure you don't do something stupid. <laughs> cool. Blue Pikmin will get this guy. And I'm gonna get 10 yellows. Okay, fine. These blues can go back in the ship since they didn't want to work. Yeah, all you blues, you're just going back in the ship. There you go. And I'm actually going to go get the bomb rocks down over here. I think it might be a little bit safer to get these bomb rocks uh, down here than it is to try and get the other ones. It's, I think it's faster and a little bit less easy to screw up, frankly. But we got the Omega Stabilizer. It is one of the fins on the dolphin that you never even noticed was missing. But this is the dolphin's fin. It's a little beaten up, but it should still function. I've made great strides in repairing the dolphin. With this, I should be able to fly again even if I don't recover all 30 parts. So there are multiple endings to this game. Uh, one in which you don't make it off the planet. Uh, one in which you... I think there might be a fourth one that I'm forgetting as well. Uh, one in which you... Actually, I think there's one... I think there's a game over ending of, you know, Olimar dies. I believe there's also a an ending where you hit day 30 and you leave, but you don't have the parts needed to leave. There's an ending of... I know that's one anyway. Uh, I know there's also an ending of you didn't get all the ship parts, but you got enough needed to be able to leave. You got the required parts. And then, of course, there's the ending of you got everything. I think there's four. I know there's at least the last three that I mentioned. Um, all right. We're right, right in front of me. Okay. It's just very dark here, so it's hard to see where I'm going sometimes. <laughs> all right. So we'll get these bomb rocks. Luckily, I think we only need six bomb rocks in order to actually break down the stone wall that's in front of me, uh, or in front of the in front of the boss, I should say. But so we'll have plenty of bomb rocks. That is not going to be a concern. We do want to avoid getting hit by grubs, though, because that could be problematic. We also want to avoid getting hit by fire, because that could be problematic, too. Alright. This should take out this wall. Cool. So there's that wall down. Is there another wall? Yeah, there's this wall right here. I feel like I might as well. This might be enough. Nope, I needed one more. Oh well, I'm not that worried about it. Okay, now we will go back and 
Honestly, this might actually be a better fight for the yellow Pikmin. Yeah, it might just be a better fight for the yellow Pikmin. The, the uh, fire right out front is a little intimidating, but I think the yellow Pikmin actually might be the way to go here. Uh, so what we're going to be fighting down here, which I had planned, again, I had planned to actually be fighting first, but did not. You know what, I'll leave those guys. Is a big old spider. I believe they call them the beady long legs or something like that. Um, he's a big old spider boy. 50 Pikmin is probably too many for this fight, honestly. That's probably just going to get them killed. But we'll deal with it. I do... I would really like to get them nectared up if I can. Just so that they'll actually stay with me. Let's see if we can get some nectar going. Okay. Okay. We got most of them flowered. So that's a lot better. All right. Uh, so we don't have the bone wall there destroyed. Yeah, we don't have the bone wall right in front of, or stone wall right in front of us destroyed. We also don't have that one destroyed, but it shouldn't matter because we can just come right around here. It just makes the path a little bit longer to get back, but it shouldn't be that big of a problem. The only fire that we have to deal with, this is, this is the correct place. Okay, the only fire we have to deal with are these couple of little fonts right here. So as long as we play smart around that, we should be okay. Now, where is he? There he is. Yep. That was immediately a whole ton of dudes lost. Now, the advantage of using yellow Pikmin is that you can immediately get them on his head here, which is the way you damage him. I really hope that Carhorn is not coming over the mic. Which I think it might be. We've got a car alarm going off right in front of my house right now. So that's a little unfortunate. Yeah, the, the advantage of using yellow Pikmin is that they will fly higher so you can get them onto his body. Uh, right off the bat. There we go. Okay, so we did kill him. We lost a ton of dudes in the process. So that was a bit of a problem. Uh, definitely shouldn't have brought as many a dude as I did. He, they immediate, I immediately lost like 20 in one step. Uh, but, oh well. The guard satellite. Deep space is filled with dangers. This automated satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I'll sleep better at night once this little satellite is back on duty. All right, I don't remember how much this part takes. It takes 20, which I'm not gonna have enough. Well, actually, no, I think I have exactly enough to carry that if I don't carry any of this other stuff back. Yeah, I have exactly enough dudes here to carry this part back. So I guess I'll set them to do that. And then I'm gonna come back here with red Pikmin. Yeah, I'll come back here with red Pikmin to grab some of these things I've killed, uh, and try and get them back over. I really wish you weren't running into stuff that is directly stopping you from crossing in front of where you need to be. Yeah, that dude died. Well, now I can't grab it at all, so we're going to go back to base. Fantastic. I don't even want to deal with you, Shear Grub. I'm gonna lose another guy there, but whatever. Grab this. Is it worth everyone that I lost? No. Is it something? Yes. Now please don't walk directly into the fire again, you imbeciles. I swear to God. Oh, uh, this is what I hate about Pikmin sometimes. Okay, guys. You really... 
You're really just being as problematic as possible today, huh? Well, I lost way more yellows today than that I had any reason to be losing. But, you know, sometimes that's just how the Pikmin crumbles. Let's go ahead and pluck all of these blues because they are fully flowered. Honestly, I'm a little concerned with even trying to bring... Oh, man, man, no, 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 no. I need to go and get that part. Otherwise, I have to come back here for another day. Okay. So I am going to pick all these blues because they're flowered. Um, but then I need to immediately deposit them, grab a bunch of reds, and go grab the rest of the stuff that's left out there. I'm not sure I want to have any... Okay. I'm not sure if I want to have any room for Pikmin to fall on the ground or get sprouted. I should say. Yeah, I'm gonna just grab a whole bunch of you. Okay, all the yellows are gonna get put away. We are currently at a point where it might be the case where I end up having to come back just because I don't have enough time to take the part back because my dudes were idiots and kept getting killed. Um, that That is the current concern here. Which would really suck because there's nothing else to do here. Outside of get that part. And a yellow that is just hanging out. So that's, that's fantastic. Okay. Yep, he's just hanging out right there. So you guys all just grab all of this stuff. Get as many of them on there as you can. You, come here. You, come here. You, carry this as quickly as you possibly can. Okay, are you guys all with me? Yes. Now, I really want to make sure we get this part back. It's going to be so, so tight. Yeah, that, that stupid fire jet is ruining my day. Please, please actually get back. This isn't worth a reset if I don't get it back, but it's damn near close to being worth. No, we don't get it. That is so, so unfortunate. Oh, that stupid fire jet has forced me to waste a day. That is what has happened here. Because my Pikmin kept loading things up on top of that fire jet and and their pathing required that they went over it, they kept getting stuck on it, which meant then they couldn't carry the thing up. That is so, so unfortunate. We actually have to come back here for another day. Well... I mean, there's not a much. There's not much I can do about that. I'm not gonna restart the day at this point. Um, so that's okay. Uh, it's gonna be. A, I have a feeling it's gonna be a really short day tomorrow. Um, I'll figure out what to do about that though. I started thinking there are some parts I might not even need. Truly a daydream. Yeah, uh, we need to build back up our yellows now after that. Our blues are now back up pretty nicely, so that's good. But we need to build back... Oh, man, yeah, we lost 41 dudes in battle today. Mostly from getting stepped on. We lost, like, 25 or something from a single step. So that sucked. But, oh, well. Well, that'll do for day 11. I was really, really hoping to finish this place off in this day. But we're going to have to come back for one more day in the forest naval to finish it off but i'll see you guys there